Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at the draft top. This is kind of an interesting device that was originally on Kickstarter. It's billed as a topless can opener, but does it really work? Let's find out in today's video. So this was actually heavily requested a few months ago, but not the actual draft top. There was a bunch of knockoffs of this advertising on social media such as Instagram. And when I did research on those knockoffs, I found the draft top was actually the original. So I wanted to be fair and actually review the original, not a knockoff. So I picked this up direct from the website for about $25. And it's a, it's a kind of an interesting concept. It works a little bit like some of those edgeless can openers. What you do is you have this handle here, you place it on the can, you close it. It kind of grabs onto it. All you have to do is turn it a few times and then the entire top will be disconnected. Now they show the top being pushed into the can sometimes and other times they actually show themselves pulling out of the can. The draft top seems to be primarily geared towards beer drinkers and the reason that the purpose of the whole device is that when you open a beer can your, your nose is going up against the top but when you get rid of the top you're actually going to be using your nose to help enhance the aroma and the flavor of the beer itself. So most of what you see for the draft top are beer cans. Now I'm not back at home in Las Vegas obviously this definitely is not Las Vegas, so I didn't have as many options, but I did go to a, a nearby liquor store and get kind of a variety of cans, and you know, I, I wanted to try out uh, multiple different types of cans to see how they actually worked. So one of the cans I actually tried out was I actually had a six pack of, because I didn't really have a lot of options here. So I kind of did a couple practice runs, and they did not go so well, so here's what happened. Let me crack this thing open. little DT for you. Uh, it looks kind of like one of those uh, hands-free can openers I reviewed last year. But I've got a variety of cans here and hopefully by the time I'm done opening these I've got the hang of the draft top. I have a six-pack of these Hefeweizens. I've got a soda can, I've got a ginger beer, I even have a can of wine. I've got some tall cans with different sized tops. So let me get started with one of these uh, six-pack of beers here and see how it works. Now I watched, there's a couple of instructional videos for the draft top that they show you using. Of course they make it look really easy because they, they've been using it for a long time. Some of the, uh, some of the people in the comments said it, there was definitely a learning curve to the draft top. All right, here we go. Draft top, the can. Okay, I am squeezing the top. And they say you're supposed to grab from either the very bottom or the very top but not in the center. Another thing they said to do is to release some pressure like this. Smooth as silk. I don't feel like I'm really opening anything. Uh, now if that was done properly, all I have to do is push this thing in here. And it, was, it wasn't done properly. I need to try again. Oh, I'm making a crackling sound now. Oh. Oh, that, it's got to be right. It's got to be right. Well, I don't know really know when to stop. All right, I think that was properly done. And then you just push it in. Oh, I'm getting there. I did it. Oh, yeah. The one thing that I wanted to point out is that not a lot of people want to have their top in there floating in their beer. The draft top response says, well, you put your mouth in the can anyways. But I can't say I'm real fond of that idea as it is. I'm not sure this is a... Oh, great. There it goes. All right. This is just the first can, though. This is going to take some getting used to. Luckily, I have a lot of cans to try. Cheers. Well, I mean, it, it works, I guess. I'm, I don't love this. I mean, like, I, need to, I feel like I need to stick my finger in there and fish... Oh, it just went in the bottom. Oh, yeah. It's chaos in here. I don't like the top in the can. I'm not a fan of that. I understand that that might be a thing, but to me, this is more aesthetically pleasing having nothing in there. All right, that was a practice run. It's like when you go to the bowling alley and you have the practice throw before you get started. This was, that was a practice throw. Now we're just gonna fly through these like they're nothing. Their instructional videos say to slightly open the, the tab so that it relieves some pressure. It actually might make it a little bit easier. I, I only did, I did it both ways and I found that it didn't really matter because they were both pretty hard for me. 
Another thing their instructional videos say to do is hold it from the very top or the very bottom, not in the center. I guess your tendency is to squeeze it and it's going to go everywhere. I did try holding it from the bottom as best I can. I'm not sure that really made much of a difference. They also said there's two primary different types of beer can tops. One seems to be easier than the other. To me, they all seem pretty hard. Draft top, take two. You want to hear that kind of crackling sound, and I'm not hearing that crackling sound. Okay, it's crackling. We got crackling sounds. Yeah, this is great technology, man. This is great. All right, now we push it in there. Push it in there. I guess I have more crackling to do. <laughs> yeah, more crackling. That didn't sound good at all. All right, I think I've almost got it. I'm just using my finger. I don't, I don't like this. Why do I need that to push it in? I was using my hand. Maybe that's why I didn't need my hand. Come on, man. Time for another towel break. There was a comment on one of the YouTube videos that said something to the effect of, if you need an instructional video for a can opener, then you probably need to go back to the drawing board. And I'm starting to wonder if that might be the case. I mean, it's open. It's definitely open. Uh, I'm going to keep trying because I, I want to give it a fair shot, but I'm not seeing the benefit yet. They have a couple of instructional videos that are very helpful, and, but they do make it look a lot easier than I found it to be, especially at first. There's definitely a learning curve, kind of a steep one if you ask me. So after those first couple of attempts, I wanted to keep trying and here's how that went. Let me try a different can. Maybe these are just bad cans. I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to try this wine can right here. And we'll see if this kind of uh, this kind of can's better. I'm getting serious here. I'm not messing around. All right, relieve the pressure. You put it on there and squeeze, and that feels right. And you start turning, holding from the bottom, You're getting zero crackling sounds like you want to have. Let me try the other direction. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, it's not even making any sound. It's just I don't even think this is working on this one. I got, I got nothing on this one. Come on now. This is ridiculous. My hand's getting tired from opening three cans. I don't even think this is, I'm not making any progress whatsoever. Because if I push this down, oh, I am making progress. <laughs> I am making progress, but I feel like if I push it down, I'm gonna splash it everywhere again. Maybe I can pull it up. Maybe I need more, more turning to do. Come on. They make it look so easy on the video. No more messing around this time. Here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this work. I'm using my finger because there's more, there's more dexterity there. As soon as that snaps down, I'm going to be wearing this wine, though. I can already tell. You know, you have to love modern technology. You know, those old school can openers, they can't compare to this. Good top. I'm going to wipe my whole arm, face, table off. Keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm not messing around anymore. All right, let me open up something everybody's familiar. How about a Heineken? How about a nice tall Heineken? All right, I'm going to do this, man. I'm doing it. I'm, not, I'm actually sweating here trying to open these cans. It's not opening because it's not even grasping onto the Heineken, so I guess you can't do the tall cans. But this Stella can does have a smaller opening. Let me try the Stella. Because I think the can size is the same. There we go. See, look, same size can. At least the same size top, not the same size can. So Stella, come on, come through for us. I've got faith in you. Draft top, come through. All right, getting crackle. Oh, we're going faster now. Oh, look at this. He's gliding through it like butter. Did that go? Oh yeah. Why is it when they push through there, it doesn't splash everywhere like I do it? I feel like if I push that down, I'm going to be wearing this again. I'm going to go back and forth. Here we go. Oh, I did it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Stella, you came through in the clutch. Thank you very much. And my top just went down to the bottom. <laughs> Here we go. All right, maybe not. I'm dripping beer now, getting beer all over my hands. That was a lot of rotations. Let me see. It's only like halfway opened. I'm like, I'm, a, I'm mangling this can. 
I'm tapping out on that can. Now I know that the draft top is more for, for beer, but let's just see if it can open a can like this. It, it takes so much pressure to squeeze this thing. They say to not squeeze it too hard. I can't not squeeze it hard. Look at that, mangling the can. Look at this. Look at that. And the can's already open. All I have to do is just drink out of it. Look how my hand's getting red. I'm just gonna try one more and just call it good. This is a different kind of type of top here. This is a ginger beer. I think because this has a beveled edge, this is one of the cans they said doesn't work as well. Not that the other cans work that great to begin with. Oh, smooth as silk, isn't it? I mean, you're supposed to do that. All right, there we go. I'm actually relieved that's the last can I'm opening. Let me go take a shower or clean this area up and go wrap this thing up. Before I go, I wanna try one of these fresh top caps to see uh, how it works with the can of uh, beer. Not that you would ever drink beer like this, but let's see if it actually works. All right, so let me see. Will it snap on there? <laughs> Will it snap on? Ugh. Oh, it did snap on. Wow. <laughs> now there is something for you. Now you can drink Hefeweizen like it's out of a bottle. Let's see. Hmm, it almost works. Just like the draft top, it almost worked. I guess it works, it's just, is it necessary? I don't know. So in the end, I get the point of the draft top, and I do think that if you use it enough, you'll probably get good at it. With the limited amount of cans that I had to choose from, I still found it to be pretty hard. I found like it was a lot of work. Sometimes the tops didn't come off properly and pushing them in splashed around. It just, it seems like it's not really an invention that solves a problem that exists. It almost creates a new problem for opening cans and that's having the steep learning curve for something that doesn't seem to need to exist. I do believe that there's people out there that will like this product. I don't think it's completely without merit. It works. It's actually a pretty ingenious idea. And I think that the, the engineering behind it is actually kind of interesting. I just think that the average consumer isn't gonna wanna take the time required to master a product like this. I think the average beer drinker that I know is perfectly happy pouring their beer into a glass so they can get the aroma of it. So uh, to me, the draft top, I really tried to like this, but I don't think it's something I'm gonna continue to use, even as someone who does enjoy an occasional can or bottle of beer. So you know, I did try and uh, I'll keep trying. But for now, I think the draft top's gonna go into the boneyard back in Vegas. But I think that at some point, a lot of consumers are gonna give up because it seems just much more difficult than pulling a tab and pouring it in a glass. But have you tried the draft top or something like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time. Of course, there's sirens. Why would there not be sirens on my video? Why would there not be sirens when I'm trying to film? You see that the sirens down there, it's gonna be that air conditioner back there. That's, that's, all, that's the way it goes. All right.